So we are now at Glencoe Visitor Centre. So up here, we've got a nice, it's beautiful actually, very clever bit of artwork. And then over here is Glencoe. And then we've got, and then over here, the Visitor Centre, where to be fair, they didn't know very much about anything, bless them. There's some pods here, we could have stayed here, but it's a bit far away. And then over in the distance are the mountains, which are fantastically impressive. And it was worth coming just to see these. Hill to toe, apparently I have to walk. Apparently it's, it's even more impressive, but it's quite cloudy in the distance. Anyway. We had a bit of a mare because <clears throat> we came to this free charging station and it was asking us to present a card. But there's no other telephone number or anything on this charge station. Absolutely nothing. As you can see from this freeze frame, there isn't actually any information on the machine which would help us find how to get it switched on, etc. Um, we did find that information by ringing home, getting people to go on the internet, going onto Zap Map, etc. We were able to get hold of the um, organisation in charge of this charge point, and they were able to enable it and allow us to begin charging, uh, and gave us information about what we needed to do thereafter with regard to having an app on our phone and being able to remotely enable the chargers using that app. There was no reference number, obviously, as you can see. We arrived the next day. There was a reference number on there. It had appeared um, between us going to Ardna Merck and, and coming back again 12 hours or 24 hours later. So there is information on that machine now. There's a telephone number, a web address, and a reference number. So all of our stress came to something in as much as whoever visits that charge point next time and has a question, they will be able to find the answer a lot quicker than we did. So we went into our friends at Glencoe Visitor Centre and they suggested that we should have got the card when we bought the car. So we sort of drew a blank there. So we were left with a Tesla Model S with about 70 miles left on in charge, which may well have got us where we want to go, but it would have been a bit tight. So what we've done is, after a bit of searching on the internet and with a great deal of help from my parents, Ken and Diane and my wife Vanessa my dad my mum and dad managed to give me the telephone number in order for us to get the charge point unlocked and then we we're able to start charging and we we're charging using a technology called Chadamo so for people who don't know there are several ways of charging an electric vehicle this being one of them so you have DC combo 2 AC DC Chadamo, so you can charge AC or DC. We can charge it pretty much anything with the Tesla, but the fastest way to do it is with one with DC Chadamo because it will charge at around uh, 50 kilowatts per hour. The fastest way to charge a Tesla is with a Tesla supercharger. Uh, they charge at 120 kilowatts, uh, which is a whole lot faster than we were able to charge outside of their network. So with a Tesla, you simply drive up to it or reverse up to it, plug in and it starts charging. There's no messing around at all. Uh, it was only when we got out of their network and we start having to use third parties that we had issues. The rest, the other two are 43. So we chose Chadamo. Anyway, so we spoke to, we found a telephone number online, my dad did. And we, we rang it up and they remotely enabled this charger. Uh, and then with the help of Vanessa, my wife, thank, thank you, Vanessa, we have now registered an app, which means that when we go to Kilcoen, we can remotely enable the app in order for us to get where we need to get to. Uh, well, not, not, well, we're going to be able to get to Kilcoen, but we'll be able to charge the car. When we get there, we can drive down to the pier and charge it. So a bit stressful, the whole trip's been really. And again, 
unforeseen delays, but this is beautiful, this place. We're very lucky. Uh, Paul is returning. He has very probably just had another fag. Um, <laughs> oh, did you? I was very thoughtful. I brought my cup out here and he very thoughtfully has taken it back and given it to them uh, because they were so helpful. In they the first, helpful. they were incredibly helpful. Um, and it, you know, if you are buying a Tesla, right? If you buy a Tesla, they are amazing cars. Don't forget to ask them. Say, shouldn't this come with a Charge Scotland card? Because uh, apparently they should come with them. But sarcasm aside, we uh, we got there eventually. So uh, signing off.